Hey guys, what is going on? This is Carnivore5, and today I have a special gameplay for you guys. I got the flashback PV last night, so this is his first start. We are facing a team by the name of the Louisville Cardinals. Uh, this was a 1950 player, had a really quick bat. So let's go ahead and show you guys what Jake PV is all about. First batter of the game, he has Ichiro, his little dribbler in front of the catcher, I throw him out. Uh, this guy was chasing a lot of pitches early on, and I, I was throwing pitches out of the zone, and he was still making contact. Uh, here we're facing Altuve. He pretty much had a uh, his first three, four hitters were like all speed and contact. We throw a slider away. PV does have a good slider. Um, the one thing I'll say about this card, it just doesn't throw that hard. It's only like 92 to 93. Every now and then, maybe 94. Um, heck, sometimes you'll be hitting 91. His changeup, we get him to chase the cutter there. His cutter is it's pretty solid, but if, I don't feel like it can't get any jammed hits, and I feel like it's not going to get many strikeouts either. As you can see here, I think this is just one flaw with this PV card to me thus far is its inability to get pitcher to get batters out via the strikeout, and I believe a lot of that is due to the, due to the fact his fastball just can't can't get by anybody. It's just not fast enough, so people are just waiting back, waiting back on his slider and changeup. Uh, his changeup is only like six mile an hour slower than his fastball too, although it does have pretty good break. You see again, he just fouls off pitches, just fouls off pitches, so. Get him to a 2-2 count. I'm trying to find any way I can to get him out here. I'm going to try to sneak a fastball on the inner half. I hit my spot pretty well. He fouls it off easily. Like, he's already on it, so I don't know what he's looking for at this point. Um, so I decided to go ahead and go back with, I think this is going to be a slider or cutter. I think it was a slider. And A-Rod does make a good play here to get him out, but that took way too many pitches just to get a simple ground out. You know, when I feel like I was outsmarting him the whole time. This is against Arenado. We throw a cutter away or a slider away, and it's out of the strike zone, but he gets a hit. And this is one thing I cannot have happen if I'm using diamond pitchers uh, in my rotation. I just can't be giving up hits on pitches outside the strike zone. Uh, so it was a pass ball. Arenado got second. Next batter was Cargo. It's a 2 2 count. We're trying to find any way just to get the ball by him. He's not chasing the high heat. Again, only 93 miles an hour. So we decided to throw a changeup down and away. We hung it a little bit. I don't think we hung it that bad, but it didn't hit the spot, which I intended, and he just pulled off of it for a two-run uh, two bomb, probably about, what is that, 428 feet. It wasn't a terrible pitch, it just didn't hit the down and away corner perfect, but it was still down and away. And here, he, I jam him on a cutter in, and he just flails at it. Keeps, I don't even know how he hit that, but he keeps it fair and gets a single down the line. And here again, we make another good pitch, a change up outside the strike zone. Hits it up the middle. Thankfully, my opponent uh, tried to get a little too aggressive there. We throw him out at third. So, not a good start with the PV. I felt like I was executing my pitches. It's just my opponent was able to hit him. Here in the bottom half, we are able to get some runs back. We worked the count with A Rod, got a fastball away, and that, that card is just amazing. It's a glitch sometimes. Cut it to 2 to 1. Edmonds works a good AB. Drives uh, a single up the middle. So, we got two on, full count. Cespedes is up, and I hit it. I'm not going to lie. This was a cheap home run. I did not deserve this. That's just a diamond and Cespedes, you know, hitting that home run for me. I wasn't even on. I mean, I was on it a little bit, but I don't think that should have went out. So we go up 3-2 to two with a two-run shot by Cespedes. Next up is Hosmer. He hangs a breaking ball. He's pitching Aaron Sanchez, so I wasn't too worried about scoring runs. So Hosmer does hit a bomb there, and we go up 4-2. to two. So now for the top of the second, we're going to try to give PV another try. But like I said, I go to my bullpen fast. And if I believe I cannot keep my opponent somewhat in check, I'm not. I'm not gonna risk it. Like I, have, I knew I had a fresh bullpen to go to this game, so the slightest bit of trouble, I was gonna take PV out. We start him off with a cutter in. Like I said, I was getting this guy to chase pitches I wanted him to chase. It's just the fact I could not put him away, even with PV's like 85 K per nine or 88 K per nine, whatever it is. It's hard to get strikeouts with this card. I don't know. He doesn't have much speed differential, and he doesn't throw particularly hard. And my opponent just was not chasing anything. A 93 mile an hour fastball up in the zone, he lays off. We try to go back up and away, hit our spot. So we get him to 2 2. It wasn't a problem getting to two strikes. The problem was getting this guy out. So we try to throw a change up, or I, don't, I think that was a change up away. I missed my spot a little bit. He just hits the gap like nothing and uh, gets a double there. I think that was his created player. So it's not looking too good for PV. Uh, next batter, we already had a 1 0 count. I throw the. I can't tell if that's a slider or a cutter, but I was throwing a lot of sliders and cutters in on lefties, and I just could not get any swings and misses. He either fouled off or he hit a base hit down the right field line. There he laid off the slider, so we're just trying to find any way we can get him out. 
We throw him another, again, I can't tell if it's a slider cutter, but we, we executed our pitch. We got the ground out we wanted, but it wasn't a ground out. Hosmer couldn't get to it. Uh, it's just, you know, bad luck my part for that ground ball, not finding a glove there. Here he hits a weak ball to left field, so he's going to stay at third. So not quite yet done a PV. Uh, Altuve's up next, and actually I lied. I did take PV out at that point, uh, and I did go to Chapman. So yeah, I only went two and I think two and one third or one and one third, and I had to take him out. So I really wanted to pitch him longer, but for how high ranked I am, I'm not going to risk losing 20 points just because the flashback starting pitcher is garbage. So. Anyways, this was an entertaining game. It was really high scoring. Here we get a single to right field with our creative player. We get the bases loaded again on the bottom half of the second. Trying to, trying to get some of those runs back. PV gave up, and A-Rod just hits a grand slam. I think that's off the foul pole, maybe? I don't know, but A-Rod is a glitch, guys. That's two home runs for A-Rod already. That one hit 455. My opponent hung a cutter. I think that was a cutter down the middle. So we go up 8-3. However, this game is not over. He hits a fastball away. Pulls it Pulls off of it. I shouldn't say pull off of it. He crushed that pitch. That was Nelson Cruz. So get, I do give up a solo shot there. And then here I bring in, uh, this is later in the game, I bring in flashback Jansen. I threw a cutter away to Altuve and he freaking hit it out too. Like I don't know what was going on. Home runs in this game can just be ridiculous and insane, but I don't know if Altuve is playing way up or something, but he hit a bomb to left field on a pitch down and away. So I keep Jansen in. Uh, I eventually get out of the inning there. Beltre makes a nice play. This game was getting a little bit too close for my liking. It's now 8-5. to five. I was up really 8-3 to three early, so I was up big early. So I don't want to choke this game away. We're still up 8-5. to five. We got Jansen still going because, yeah, we only got three righties in our bullpen, so we have to make sure we get to this lineup. He fumbles the ball a little bit, but he does eventually pick it up and get the out. So here's the eighth inning. I decided to go with Zach Britton. My opponent mainly had a bunch of right-handed hitters because I don't know why exactly, but... We threw a sinker, we just challenged him and he hit it out. Good hit by him. Again, Cruz goes deep again. Opponent had a lot of solo shots in the game. I think all of his runs were scored via home run, actually. I don't know. Uh, we throw a pitch down and away, a slider down and away to Cargo, get the ground out. Nice play again by Beltre. Moving on in the eighth. Britton throws a slider down and uh, just straight down, gets him swinging and miss. And that Britton card is amazing, too. Hopefully, I can get a review out for you guys on that Britton card. I really like it. His sinker is so good. I might like it more than the Andrew Miller. I've been using him lately. Over the Andrew Miller. I still have the Andrew Miller in my bullpen, but I don't know. I've been giving the, giving the nod to Britain when I need, it, need a lefty out of the pen. Here in the bottom half, uh, Kenny Powers rips a single to left field. I want to try to get some runs back because this game's too close. My opponent was a pretty good hitter. So we get our guy to second. We got one down. I pinched it for Ancure here because he brought in the lefty. So I was pretty confident here. I was just looking for something to drive. We get a high and away fastball, and Frank Curry is just amazing. First lefties, of course, 99-99. Hits it over the center fielder's head, and that's going to be a triple, uh, an RBI triple nonetheless. So we go up 9-6, to six, get ourselves a little bit more of a cushion. Hanley comes up, rips a single up the middle. So we go up 10-6. to six. So thankfully, uh, my offense came alive. Um, I'm going to try the PV out again, guys. Trust me, like I really want to like this card. It's just going to be very difficult to like it when he's only throwing 92, 93. That's that's just insane. And Beltre hits a bomb here to pretty much seal the game. But tell me what you guys think of the, the flashback PV thus far, like what you think of his attributes, or if you use them. Uh, please let me know what you think. The game's about to come to an end here. We throw a, so I think that's a slider down the way. Beltre makes a nice play to end it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these flashbacks. Like, what do you guys think of the flashback bum garner as well? What do you think of the deceiver and the green key? Are any of you guys going to be using any of these pitchers? I honestly don't know if I'll use any of those four. The only one I might be using is Seaver. Um, if PB doesn't straighten out for me, I'm going to end up selling him again. But uh, I, I don't know. I want to like this card, guys. But I don't know. We'll have to try a few more games, and I'll try to get a review out to you guys. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. This is card number five. Signing out. Peace.